Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and we're here at my front yard garden in the Phoenix area, Arizona, like Phoenix Tempe border. And first of all, I wanna show you guys these cool beans I planted last year. They're called Christmas Lima Beans. They were from rareseeds.com, the Baker Creek Seed Company. And I basically grew these up my house, and now they have kind of tons of beans. The lima beans taste really good. We can soak them, turn them into soups and stews. So I'd highly recommend Christmas lima beans as a fall weather crop because these were planted last fall and they grew all through the winter and even into the summer. But in this episode today, I want to show you guys this raised bed I have right here. And it's full of the Iatoi onions. That's spelled I apostrophe I T O I. Three I's in that name. And these are like a type of onion that's a clustering onion. So if you put one bulb in the ground, many, 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 many bulbs will. Uh, multiply around the original bulb. You got chives on top, they're delicious, and you'll have the onion bulbs down below, and the bulbs are only about as big as a, as a little bulb of garlic, or a clove of garlic. But today I wanna to talk to you about this right here I found. Can you guys see? I came out this morning, and there's mushrooms in my garden, so this is a great way to get your protein as a vegan, is to eat, the, no, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna eat these mushrooms, <laughs> so. I would never eat any mushrooms in my garden, but the mushrooms are very good for my soil. And so the first year I was gardening, I put a lot of new soil in my beds and just like this one is new. And I found that anywhere that I had put a lot of moisture down in the soil, mushrooms were sprouting up. And look at this guy. They look like, like some kind of shiitake or something like that. So, I thought I was doing something wrong, and I thought that it was bad to have mushrooms in your soil, and it's not bad, it's not wrong. What you can do is I just, every day this happens, I might walk out and just kind of pick them, or destroy them, pull them out from where they are, and then just leave them, <laughs> just leave them. Or take them and throw them in your compost pile or your compost turbines, because these mushrooms will bring a lot of beneficial bacteria and other beneficial organisms to your soil. So a lot of urban gardeners actually put wood chips on their ground as ground cover and mix in mushrooms to the wood chips to help uh, build the soil. That's what I'll do with these mushrooms. So, so don't be afraid of your mushrooms. Pack them down, leave them in the soil. By midday today, these will be all deflated and just kind of melted into the soil. And I'm telling you in a year from now, this soil will be healthier because of those mushrooms. The hard part is that sometimes this guy eats the mushrooms <laughs> and I always wonder if he catches them on the ground and eats it if I'll find him later like having a psychedelic experience that I never had before. But this is what the Iatois look like after they have grown to full maturity. So I literally planted one Iatois onion like this. And then after a few months, you get multiple like this. So if you guys come to my gardening class on September the 27th on Saturday at 9 a.m., I'm gonna be giving these away for free for anybody that comes to learn about gardening with me. So uh, we'll give about two or three away to everybody and you can try planting them yourself or just eat them. So, Iatoi onions, good. Mushrooms in your garden, good. Tortoise says that try to run away from me and go on the street, bad. I'll see you guys next time.